Hello and welcome to the demonstration for reducing equipment operating costs through reliability distribution analysis. My name is Jonathan Bywater and I am the production manager for APM Reliability Management. This short video will benefit reliability and production managers wishing to cost optimize maintenance programs for high cost driving assets. To illustrate this, we will create a reliability distribution analysis for a top 10 cost driving asset. We will establish the probability of failure through PDF and CDF plots. We will determine cost optimized maintenance interval for the asset we're focused on, and we will determine the probability of failure at future dates. So here we are in live products for reliability analytics. And I'm going to start by looking at my top 10 bad actors charts, which I can now expand. And this shows me that the asset that has been the subject of earlier videos, which is this pump G0001097, which has been the cause of production losses, is actually showing up on my top 10 bad actors as a cost driver. We can see a big part of that is lost production costs. So that's consistent with the story that we've been showing as to how we've been losing performance due to an underperforming asset. So what we're going to do now is create an analysis to investigate the performance of this asset and in particular establish whether or not we're maintaining it properly. So if I go to reliability analytics and in this case I'm going to go to reliability distribution analysis and I'm going to select an analysis that I've already got running by searching on the asset so G0001-097 is what was showing up on our bad actors list and there it is so we do have an analysis already for this equipment and we've got a TTF and a TTR mean times already here. Right, let's open up that analysis and see what's going on because we know that this is causing us problems. So at the analysis summary, showing time to failure, you can see that we've got plenty of data points. In this case, we've got a least squares fit method of a log normal distribution type and we've got all sorts of data that we can investigate. If I look at the probability plot which is plotting probability of failure against time to failure this is telling me what is the likelihood of this pump failing in probability terms at any particular time in the future. So if I go to a thousand days for example I can see, and the X value for that is shown at the top of the screen, top right of the screen. I, after a thousand days, I've got an 83% probability of this equipment failing totally. So there is the profile of that failure. And if I look at analysis data, I can go to the source of the data, or I can simply edit the data. And if I select edit, here are the failure points right here that we're looking at in the chart. So we see the dates, we've seen the time to failure for each failure, and in some cases we've got um, ignored or censored data points. So we have a good plot here. What I'm interested in is, is this asset, which we know is underperforming, being subject to the optimal maintenance? So we have a function in reliability distribution called preventive maintenance optimization. So we're going to open that and have a look what it's telling us. And this is telling us that the planned cost is $7,500 for maintenance. So if we do planned maintenance, that's the cost. But if we have to do unplanned, it's going to cost us $12,500. And the optimal preventive maintenance issue is a thousand days. How did that get set up? Well, if I select maintenance cost, that is where the planned cost is. 
which either came from a query or was entered manually, as was the unplanned cost. And by entering or querying those values, bringing those values in from a query, together with all the PDF, CDF, and time to failure data that we have, what this optimization is doing is it's taking all of the cost information that we have, that is the maintenance cost and any other cost that we've got in this analysis, and it's saying on cost terms, your optimal preventive maintenance interval is a thousand days. Now, what I will do here is say, well, somebody, a strategy analyst needs to check and see whether that in fact is consistent with the way we're maintaining this asset. So to do that, I will select the recommendation side panel. And in this case, you can see that a recommendation has already been created to review the strategy. And finally, if I am a strategy manager, I can open up ASM and actually look at the strategy for that asset. So let me first of all set the context to make sure that we capture the asset. So if I go to asset strategies and again query on the asset G0001 dash 097. There it is. So we do indeed have a strategy. And this will enable me to validate what maintenance is going on. So if I pull the side panel here, you can see that the strategy manager already has that recommendation. It's sitting there in his recommended action side panel. And you can see there are a whole load more beside. But this is where that strategy would be reviewed in the context of the recommendation that came from that analysis. This concludes the reliability distribution video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact your GE Digital representative. Thank you.